Ukraine war today. Ukrainian forces have expanded breakthrough of Russian defense lines near the village of Robotyne. Ukrainian forces have been widening their breach of Russian defensive lines near the village of Robotyne for several weeks and analysts say they may be preparing for a new push. The tiny village, some 56 kilometers, 35 miles, southeast of the city of Zaporizhia, has been a focal point since Ukraine's counteroffensive began at the start of June. Progress has been slow but analysts at the U.S.-based Institute for the Study of War ISW, say they have confirmed that Ukrainian forces are operating armored vehicles beyond the Russian anti-tank ditch and Dragon's Teeth obstacles in the area for the first time, just to the west of nearby Verbov. The ISW describes this as an important sign of progress, but adds it is not prepared to say that Ukraine has broken through as its forces have not breached the last visible defensive positions. Security correspondent says this is the most strategically important part of the Ukrainian counteroffensive and, if it is successful, could cut off Russia's supply lines that connect the Russian city of rostov on on to Crimea. Doing so would make it all but impossible for Russia to maintain its huge garrison in Crimea, which it annexed in 2014, he adds. However, the advance so far has been restricted to the area around Robotyne and Ukrainian forces have a long way to go if they are to achieve this aim by reaching the Sea of Azov. As Ukraine has been trying to widen the breach near Robotyne, Russia has been bringing reinforcements into the region, including some of its best trained soldiers that had previously been deployed elsewhere. The UK Ministry of Defense says the redeployments of Russia's paratroop formations, known as the VDV, have probably weakened its defenses around the city of Bakhmut in eastern Ukraine, which has endured some of the heaviest fighting of the war. It has been under Russian control for several months, but Ukraine has gained some ground in the surrounding areas and the mod says Ukraine has now secured the villages of Klishchivka and Andrivka, about 8 kilometers, 5 miles, south of the city. Ukraine has also stepped up attacks on the Crimean Peninsula in the past month, the latest a missile attack on the port of Sevastopol on September 22. It came just over a week after a major attack on the same city, which is the headquarters of Russia's Black Sea Fleet, using cruise missiles supplied by the UK and France that is thought to have destroyed a ship and a submarine. It also caused significant damage to the dry docks, which are vital for maintenance of the entire Black Sea Fleet. The next day Ukraine said it had succeeded in destroying a sophisticated Russian air defense system, the S-400, on the peninsula. Attacks in late August destroyed another S-400 and others knocked out Russian radar positions on offshore gas platforms. Russia's Black Sea Fleet is an important target for Kiev. It is seen as the flagship unit of Russia's navy, and its ships have launched missiles at Ukraine causing devastating damage. It has also been threatening to block the Black Sea shipping routes that Ukraine has been using to export grain, which is a particular sticking point for Kyiv currently.